Hello, everyone. This is Phoenix from Prospero Events Group. I'm the conference producer of the Green Hydrogen 2020, which just took place last week on 5th and 6th November. And um, today we are very happy to have one of our participants, Zach Lowe, director of Southern Company in the US, to share his experience of this conference. Hi, Zach. Hi, Phoenix. Good Hi, to see it's, you. It's good to have you today. So would you mind to uh, give us a brief idea of what your company is doing in the U.S.? Perfect, yes. So um, I'm, as you mentioned, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, an employee of, of Southern Company, and we are a utility that is a, an electric and gas utility that's headquartered in the southeast of the United States. Mm -hmm. So we have regulated, we have regulated electric companies. Um, wholesale electric um, that has some solar and wind renewable energy and also a regulated um, natural gas utility which has operations in four different states so our electric operations are from a utility side are in Mississippi Alabama and Georgia and our natural gas operations are in Georgia Tennessee Virginia and Illinois mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of a very brief overview <laughs> of, of you know, some of the company operations Right, understood. And uh, so what would be the highlight of this conference so far? I think I think really um, any time you can get together with um, individuals from across the globe that are that are focused on um, decarbonization and net zero targets and hydrogen is, is is just very invigorating, right? So I think the highlight is to get the perspectives of individuals um, kind of across Europe on how hydrogen is um, affecting their business, the things they're doing, projects they have going on. Um, it's just it's just really great to to network with those individuals to learn more about how they're they're approaching the topic. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, what would be the biggest takeaway for you from this conference? I think um, there were there were many takeaways. I think I think one of the one of the biggest one is just is just validating the momentum that that green hydrogen is 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 gaining um you know a, across the globe right um kind of kind of throughout europe you can see the different organizations um whether it's you know i'll, I'll say hydrogen in general right whether it's mm -hmm. blue or green or uh, some of the other colors there um mm -hmm. but just but just just to see to to see the momentum that it's that it's gaining um in in uh, europe is is just is just very interesting and very um you know good for good good for me to know good for us to know um, to help build those partnerships with those mm -hmm. who are who are involved in the space. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, uh, I have uh, one more question on top of it. And uh, mm -hmm. how how do you think the Europeans' perspective in terms of green hydrogen to help with the U.S. market? Yeah, I, and you know, obviously there are some differences, right, between uh, between yeah. um, you know the European market and, and the U.S. market. But I think from a technology perspective. Um, a lot of the things that, that that we're working through internally is on the technology side and, and, and how to scale those technologies to make them um, cost effective. Um, you know, keeping our keeping our customer central um, center of focus for us. Um, so, so really, um, you know, from a you know from a technology perspective, you know, really understanding that you know, these things are the technologies that are looking to scale up across Europe because if it if it's technically able to perform there than it's technically able to perform you know anywhere right um so so really understanding from from a technology perspective what are things that are really facilitating the um you know the uh, hydrogen economy right so my last question would be will you consider to join uh prospero conferences in the future if there are any um, relevance topic or would you recommend to your uh, business partners or colleagues or connections I would, I would, like I said, um, you know, it's it's obviously a different world we're living in now with a, with you know virtual conferences everywhere. But I mm -hmm. think you know having having the breakout rooms, um, having the having the ability to to network with those individuals that are that are involved in the space was was hugely beneficial for me. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I would I would definitely want to participate again in, in in those events that you know that that fit our business needs. Um, I think anytime you can mm -hmm. bounce ideas off one another meet people and you know forge forge partnerships and relationships moving forward is a is, is is a success so um absolutely i would i would i would definitely want to engage further down the road great thank you for your time Zach, and uh 
it's more than happy to have you um, in this interview. So uh, we will see, see you in the next conference. That sounds great. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you.